Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to cover the settings that apply to calculating the profit and losses in the entry uh, and timing screen. So basically if you go into Tools, Settings, the very first tab is the Brokerage tab. And if you enter a commission rate and additional fees in here, those will be incorporated in the potential loss and profit calculations that show on the screen. So you would uh, enter your commission rate and choose whether it's by trade or share. And if your commission rate changes depending on the number of shares, you want to choose the shares tiered. And I know that Interactive Brokers is one of the brokerage firms that do this. You can um, put in the number of shares as minimum or maximum. And I'll do an example here. Let's say anything under 500 shares is half a penny per share. You'd put it in like that. And then everything over 500 shares through, let's say, 1,000 shares, is 0 .03, 0 .003, and then anything above a thousand would be 0 .002. That's how you would indicate the different tiers, so that the program can figure out how to calculate the commission rates um, for the tiers. So, if you entered the shares number up here as 200, it would look at this table and charge the 0 .005 as the commission rate and incorporate that in both the loss and the profit figures. And if you entered uh, shares of 750, it would find the second range and apply that rate. So that's how that works. And then if you specify tiers down here, you need to clear out this rate value here to the left of the shares tiered. And then additional fees. If your broker just charges you additional types of fees, you can specify those here in this next box down. And then you choose whether it's per trade or per shares for those additional fees those also get incorporated into this value. So you're looking at a comprehensive calculation showing exactly how much you would pay for that uh, market value position or that trade. And it does both sides. So it does both the purchase and the sale of the stock. So it takes those values and does what it needs to to reflect getting in and out of those positions. So that is the brokerage settings in a nutshell. If you have a brokerage that's not listed in this list, please email. Uh, me at sales at ininthesky.screener.com, and I can add that brokerage to the list. In addition, you can import your gains and losses from the brokerage. So if you go to the importing tab, you can choose whether or not each time you import from your brokerage, whether it should clear the file and reestablish all the gains and losses, or if it's incremental, you would uncheck that box. Then you choose the brokerage from this first list, and again, if it's not listed in there, please email me and let me know so that I can add it to that list. And then I'll need a sample file of your gains and losses to go ahead and build the interface for it if it does not already exist in the system. And this will bring in the data into the gains and losses screen. So we go over to the gains and losses screen, hit all tickers, all that information was imported from the brokerage. So you can see that information. And uh, so that's how that applies. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to email them to me at questions at eyeinthesky.screener.com. Thank you very much.